up beautiful glam girls glam fam glam everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is gabriella we do a little bit of everything here plus size fashion home decor cooking try on hauls beauty everything so if you're interested stick around and subscribe so because we love a little bit of everything here and we're fancy i thought why not start sharing some of my tips and tricks on how to live a fancy elegant lifestyle on a budget if you hear creaking, it is my faux leather uh, blazer. I thought I'd break it out for a fall, I guess, inspired look. Also, I tried a new lip combination, and I really like how this looks. So let me know if you like it. I'll leave the, um, the lip combo in the description, as well as this blazer if I can find it or something similar. So I was thinking about um, how I can incorporate these kinds of tips and tricks. Why not do some videos sharing my favorite ways to have more elegance in your lifestyle and be a little bit fancier without breaking the bank. So let's get into it. So one of the main things that I like to take advantage of are free programs where you get free um, subscriptions to things, free trials, free um samples of things and stuff like that make sure that you're looking for those programs in the places that you already shop one of the apps that i'm subscribed to is octaly so i got this package from octaly from clarins they sent me their double serum and this is one of my favorite products ever but octaly basically gives you free credits and then you get sent product in exchange for a review this is a really expensive product they sent me the, the cream that goes with it i love 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 this i've been using this product and i'm telling you it makes such a difference in your skin it is super super expensive but it's worth it but if you use something like octaly where you submit a review in exchange for product it's a great way to get your hands on these amazing expensive products for free all you have to do is spend some time maybe you have to do a youtube video or an instagram post or something like that like i am right now and it's a great way to get those free products and kind of elevate your lifestyle without spending a lot of money i love this by the way if you haven't tried it definitely try it clarence is such an amazing brand i feel like they're slept on but they are a leader in skincare they know what they're doing it's not just a beauty brand making skincare they are skincare people and this stuff is amazing this double serum is so amazing it smooths the skin i like to use it day and night it is fantastic definitely check it out if you haven't okay the next thing i like to do to elevate my lifestyle without spending a lot of money is having fresh flowers in my apartment i think it makes such a difference and you can find fresh flowers at your supermarket for really cheap so for me i like to get them from Shoprite. they have have um, roses a dozen roses for I believe they are 12 to 14 dollars which is really cheap and the ones from ShopRite in my opinion where I live they are really high quality they last about six days which is really really good I do take care of my roses when I have them or whatever flowers but in general even if I don't take care of them like crazy they last a long time it's not a lot of money in my opinion to invest 15 extra dollars in your grocery list uh, to have fresh flowers at least a couple times a month so Specifically if you're gonna have company or a dinner party or something like that But even if I'm not just for myself personally It adds such an elegance to my life when I when I walk into my room or I wake up in the morning and I see them It just adds this vibrance and it is scientifically proven that having fresh flowers or plants in your environment Makes you happier. It fills your space with fresh oxygen and just good vibes Trader Joe's also has them for I think seven or eight dollars theirs from my experience where I live here in New York, they're not as good quality as the ShopRite ones, but they are about half the price. So you can definitely find some cheap flowers in your area, whether it's a mom and pop shop or your supermarket. It is definitely worth it. It doesn't break the bank and it adds an elegance to your lifestyle. Another tip that I love to incorporate into my daily life is having the right drinking glasses for every occasion. Um, I know that some people are like, oh, it's just a glass, like who cares? They'll drink wine, they'll drink wine out of a, a regular drinking cup or they'll drink out of plastic cups for everything or they'll drink out of like a giant you know 2001 from Burger King for everything and of course no judgment do whatever works for you but you can get great quality glasses at Walmart Target even Dollar Tree has amazing quality glasses and it is really nice even if you just buy two to have a nice set of glasses I recommend like a nice tumbler or like a French tumbler or um, something with a little bit of like a diamondy print or something that has some prism vibes to it that that reflect light that gives it more of a 
like upscale vibe but even just a plain glass that you can use for um you know making a cocktail or just drinking a regular beverage it is going to elevate your lifestyle it's going to make you feel better about yourself it's going to make you feel like you're putting more effort into your everyday life when you make your iced coffee it's just going to feel better also incorporating glass straws you can get them really cheap on amazon as well and i have seen at dollar tree all different types of glasses i've seen um cocktail glasses drinking glasses tumblers and they are a dollars so there's really no excuse for for not elevating your lifestyle when you have people come over and you can offer them a beverage and a cocktail in a nice actual glass it makes all the difference and i'm telling you you are going to enjoy whatever you're drinking even if it's a ten dollar bottle of wine if you have a nice wine glass even if it's a dollar from dollar tree it's going to improve how it feels when you're drinking it i promise the next tip i have for you is also when it comes to hosting people because we're approaching holiday season we're approaching people coming over season dinner party season the next thing I want to talk about is when people come over it is nice to have something to present to them even if you're not the biggest chef if you're not a big cook if you're going to order out at least have maybe a nice charcuterie board or have some fresh fruit even a bowl of fruit or some cut up you know cheeses and things like that you can get a really affordable little cheese platter pre-made from target i've seen them for like ten dollars get some peaches some grapes throw them on a little platter you can get yourself a really cheap little platter from amazon or like a wood um stand or something from home goods from target i've seen them really really cheap in these places i'll try to link some down below for you guys and have a nice presentation when people come in with some tea light candles again you can get tea light candles at ikea you can get a, a huge bag of them i've talked about them on my youtube channel before you can get a huge bulk bag of ikea tea lights for like five dollars and they last forever so putting some candles out even these behind me these twisted candles that you see right here they were i think four dollars for two of them from c uh, from crate and barrel so you don't have to spend a lot of money but just putting out some candles you can get candlesticks again from Dollar Tree that are really affordable from from Target from Home Goods. Having a nice little presentation when people come in and they come to your space, it's going to give them this welcoming, warm, cozy feeling and they're going to respect you because you've shown them respect. They're going to be like, "Wow, this person took the time to make this cozy thing for me. They took the time to make me feel welcome. They took the time to set out a drink, to set out some fresh fruit." And those little things make such a difference in the presentation, how people feel in your space. And also when they leave, they're going to remember the feeling of being welcome and they're going to respect you more. And it's just a great way to elevate your lifestyle. And this doesn't have to be every single time your best friend comes over. But if you are having multiple people over, especially if it's the first time or if it's a more um, formal dinner or something like that, definitely put the extra effort in. You don't have to go over the top with the crazy tablescapes and everything. But even if you just light a couple candles, put out some fresh fruit, some cheeses, things like that, it makes the world of a difference, I promise. Okay, this next tip is actually not about buying anything in particular. It's actually about organization and how you present your space. So the next thing I want to talk about is minimal space or keeping things minimal, keeping things clean. As you can see behind me on my dresser, one of you guys pointed out in my last video that you really liked how my dresser was very minimal, how there's really um, not much on it. And actually for me right now, this is probably like the most crowded um it's ever been so i'm gonna stand away just so you guys can see i know that the light is is reflecting but just so you can see what the dresser looks like so basically on this side i just have this little kind can candelabra with some candlesticks as decor and i like this because i can move it around in my house and use it as different decor for different places if i'm having a dinner party i can move it around etc here is just a simple little jewelry stand and then on the other side is a little mirror tray with all of my perfumes and a little vase. And that is it. I like to keep it very open, very clean. Everything is as clean as I can. And when things start to get a little bit too crazy, I make sure to keep everything clean. I make sure that I am always wiping it down, keeping it fresh, keeping it open. So this is a tip. Keep things minimal, keep things clean, especially if you have a smaller space, an apartment. The less things you have cluttering your space, the more elegant you feel, the more elegant your space looks. And 
if you ever look at like rich people homes or you know styling books and 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 home decor books and things like that the main thing they all have in common is that it's clean cleanliness and minimal minimalism go together and they really enhance your space and make everything feel more elegant more clean more fresh and when people come in they're gonna feel that as well so keeping things to, to a minimum and having things in drawers and cubbies in closets having a space for everything that's not outside just stacked on and stacked on in your view is really going to help you feel better about yourself and it's going to make everything feel a lot more elegant and expensive all right guys so that is it for this video i have a ton more of these kind of tips so let me know if you want to see this as a series more of these videos um i can do them about everything and let me know what you think i'll also leave links for relevant things down in the description as many things as i can find i'll leave them in the description box don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on instagram i love you so much i'll see you next time Besitos. Bye.